Hi, we're here with Chris and Joss here at St. John's Lutheran Primary School, and we've Good just night, and we've just walked into this brand new building. New it's only building. just been here in the last hour or two. Brand new building, Lifted in. brand new building, and you know what? It has started at six thirty this morning. They brought this particular segment in at about seven o'clock. The others are finished by eleven o'clock. Brand new four classroom segment in the school. We're absolutely ecstatic. You can see by Joss's face. That's not a fake smile, no, is it, Josh? No, it's no, not. It's not. Very no, we are very excited to have this new building. And Derek, of all days, you've arrived here to help us. And this is great. This space is this space here is about one half. If you were to walk out and down, there's another half. So it's equivalent to two um, classroom spaces here, and these are just for um, the um, transport. These are just temporary beams in here. But I really like these temporary ones. So I think we were chatting before. You're going to take these down and reuse them, maybe because. You can actually use re reframe frames like that before to create a prototyping space, but we'll talk more mm. about that later. Mm. So this area, tell us a little bit about this area, uh, Chris, and we might have a wonder this way. Yeah, sure. So Derek um, and friends, what we're looking at here in this room is calling this our Creator and Discovery Centre at St John's, and so it'll become a multi-purpose room, but largely around digital technology, design technology. Uh, we've had, especially, we've had um, Mr Cameraman, if you can show our friends, we've had um, cords and electricals put up into the ceiling so that we can access that. We can potentially have benches movable on wheels right through the middle and, and have this as an agile space, but with the vision of digital and design technologies as being the core of that. And of course, the room next door, we're looking at a similar um, proposition, but it being media and visual arts. Um, in the very middle here, we have concertina doors um, coming into play. And what DB says, we'll perhaps reuse these for some purpose, but the concertina doors will go right through here and enable us to open up all of these, or both of these spaces rather, to two uh, into one and that will be um, a, a big flexible learning space that, again, used for digital design, and we're talking, media, yeah. visual. And we were talking earlier about how to create those, those sliders so that they default to being open to try to encourage that, that teaming and the use of all the components of digital design, media um, and uh, tech um, together in terms of when you work in the prototype and maybe using portions of it now and then to create like an expert Guru space, etc. And then when we're discussing things like even though that these portables come with some whiteboards at either end, how you can use furniture and spaces and displays to not um, not provide a single point as the as the front, multiple points in the room. So we're talking about LED TVs. Um, what type of furniture could go in here? Notice the neutral colours that are in here already. Notice great acoustics in this. Um, a lot of uh, work's been done, even though these portables come in, they now come with a heck of a lot of acoustic in here. And we were testing some acoustics earlier, and it's quite good. Um, the acoustic treatments. If I can point out too, what we've done in this space and our next door space is we've deliberately gone with this lino vinyl flooring uh, and that will enable us to really get down and dirty as it were. So if our children are cutting or sawing or yeah. making, creating, yeah. uh, we're not worrying about carpet being stained or damaged. Yeah. Um, yet at the other end of the building, yeah. uh, that will be utilised for year traditional six. classroom, two yeah. year six classes, yeah. open space, uh, has that capacity. We put carpet yeah. in there. Yeah. Uh, but um, in these two classes, we've given us that multi-functionality of, of the space by virtue of the flooring we've chosen. That's wonderful. And, you know, this was, um, and we're, we're talking here not just about the building, because what triggered this was the way that um, St. John's are actually opening up that Plus One Day. Mm. Yes. Mm. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Plus One Day is on a Thursday for us at St. John's. And it's the day that our students from prep through to year six are engaged in specialist subject lessons for that entire day. Um, our teachers in our junior and senior school have um, specialised in a subject of, of their choice or their speciality and teachers or classes move amongst those subjects on those days. There are arts subjects, um, technology subjects, sport, uh, library and language other than English. So these spaces um, 
uh, very, will be very sought after by those teachers to create that collaborative open environment for our students to engage in those. And it allows that those times to be able to um, explore of being transdisciplinary as, as well, yes. be able to feed into whatever projects can actually be enabled mm. with the tools and the the processes and the environment that's here mm. to support some of those large inquiry units that you're doing elsewhere as well. Yes. So the, currently our teachers have been very creative and they've set up zones on verandas or, or back end outdoor areas of classrooms for that creating making type area. Now we've got the classrooms that will be purpose built um, in alignment with our collaborative learning um, and our um, being able to solve, solve problems and, mm. and create designs. So it's really a shell at the moment. So people who are watching this on the Agile Learning Warning Hall Throw some ideas out there. Ask some mm -hmm. questions. What's the house size of the space? This is only half of it, what you see from that right down there and how it's going to be used. Ask um, Josh and Chris and uh, Nathan behind the camera a few questions about um, how this space is going to be used and therefore might have some ideas on the type of furnishing, the type of qualities, the type of zones mm -hmm. and how the teams will work in there. And on the other side of that wall is the similar space for year sixes um, as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I ask the question of people, if you've got any um, tinker tables that you've designed um, without costing a huge amount of money that you could post photos for us of, we would really appreciate that. Absolutely. Tinker tables, yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. And one of the things that we're looking at doing too is opening this space up during lunch time so that children can come in, supervised obviously, to be a little bit more, have a little bit more freedom around the use of the tinker equipment, if you like. Yep. So if anyone's got any of that kind of situation in operation in their schools now and how you manage that, um, I'd be really keen to hear from you also, if you don't mind. That's great. Thanks for sharing. Oh, it's amazing seeing eight blocks come down and then form this building. I thought there'd be an extension lead out of one end, you just plug in and then everything <laughs> comes on up, a bit more than that apparently. And um, so this is wonderful. I look forward to actually coming back mm. and seeing how it's transform and transforming. Yes, thank you, Derek. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Time, Derek. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys.